Hello. I did not vlog at all yesterday because, uh, frankly, I was tired. I'm just wanting to socialize. Um, but we are on day two of this Halloween Disney trip. I'm representing Haunted Mansion, which is waiting across the street, obviously. At the Grand Legacy, it takes two seconds. Um, I'm trying to kind of stay behind so that I don't look like a crazy person vlogging, but that's always the worst. Um, but I think my plan is I've already got my coffee from my hotel. I'm going to do Guardians. It's more like to rope drop when I'm rope dropping UCA. I got a polystarch bread from Galaxy's Edge last night for the morning because mm -hmm. I was thinking of future me. If you haven't had the polystarch bread, that is quite literally one of the best snacks you can get at Disneyland in my opinion. Although we got them at the end of the night, they were a little not quite as good, but even like a not as fresh polystarch bread is better than no polystarch bread in my opinion. So let's walk across the street. I love seeing the atmosphere characters in the morning. It's so awesome. And then obviously the Halloween decor here at California Adventure is elite. Then I'll make my way to Guardians because that's my favorite ride. And then I don't really know what today has in store to be honest with you. We'll see, we've, we've basically roped off the park open the day and it's 8.07 and we're walking in right now. So not too bad. Might do a little photo shoot. We'll see, we'll see. Head lift, boss moon. He's like, what did you call me? Dress and thrill. For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rock, one of the guardians of the galaxy. The spot. Listen up. Free ride. I can't even tell you. Lots of that happens. So that was interesting. Um, that's, a, that's a fun one. I like that one. It's got a lot of long drop. Yeah, so we're gonna go on it again. Cause I wanna get one of my favorite songs. And because it's gonna change to Monsters After Dark quite shortly. So might as well get them in now. Uh, get the funk, which is not my favorite. I was gonna do a third time tag in one of my songs that I actually like. I'm gonna send to the new single writer over at Cars. I mean, the line is like, that they're gonna just walk out this ride. Right? Always, always, but you know, so you gotta feel it. Look at how beautiful. Just, it never gets old, does it? It gets old, it never too long. And I just realized that we're just gonna miss. Oh no, didn't mean to be. Whoopsie, I'm a human. I'm telling you guys, rope drop from DCA is the, is the move because it's literally 9 30 and I've done most of the things in the park already. And you can do the same. Single rider lines, rope drop from DCA. You have the whole day to finish at Disneyland. It stays later anyway, it's open later anyway. So that is always my suggestion. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more like little short tips like that. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of long form video, you guys. I try vlogging and I just feel like I'm alone. It's not that interesting. You know, I had to go ride my favorite, the Death Wheel. Haters gonna hate, but I love it. And then I went over to Tiana's Palace to try to 
to trialy to finally try <laughs> all of the food there the red beans and rice was honestly to me the biggest surprise hit i loved the homemade pickles and the muffaletta sandwich also did the shrimp and grits i know my bowl looks really messy but this actually came to me looking like that and then i also did the uh, beignet which to me is the least best beignet on property but still worth getting if you like lemon overall this revamp is a 10 out of 10 even though the food is probably more like a 7 out of 10 very solid solid not amazing soft i said but overall yeah it's a wonderful review You guys know, I always recommend, if you're looking for mugs, go to TJ Maxx. They have great ones for so cheap, but I'm not going to lie, this one's got me. You're not finding that at TJ Maxx. Okay, that's a vibe. That's a whole mood right there. Low-key love it. Of course, it's $20. Yeah. And my spirit will just not allow that. That's just not going to be that. So cute. I'm so really into this goofy and the baby. What are these? What are these like modern Tiana inspired? Like what? These are cool. I love how it's like inspired by that princess, but then it's like a different looking girl. I love that. It's so fun. They're like bounding kind of. Oh, neat. And the glare books that you can't really see them, but like, look, she's Belle. I love that. I guess I'll like, uh, I L Y. Like, I love. Like, like, I'm inspired by this character, so I love her. And they have all the little accessories. I'm doing. Look how cute. I think this is so cool. I would have been obsessed with this when I was little. This bucket bag lunch fly is also very cute. Very cute with the prints and the handle. That's a vibe. It's a whole vibe. Like if you're not feeling like a traditional lounge guy, you want to be a little different. Yeah. It's very cool. Very cool indeed. Lounge guy, nice work. Nice work. This kind of thing. Um, it's not so important. It would not be caught dead in, but listen to each their own. To each their own. For sure. Like, not a fan of these either. A little loud, but hey, um, we, we're all entitled to our opinions. I'm not saying I'm right, but I don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> My phone died. Um, so I had to miss a few things. Um, but a lovely Patreon member has sponsored me a new fuel rod because I guess it fell out of my bag. I don't know what happened there. Um, so thank you. Shout out to Jace the Ace, who always has my back. Thank you for being a Patreon member and always supporting me in my various channels. So you're a real one. And special thank you to all of my Patreon members, honestly. You guys are all incredible, incredible humans. I will list you all. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Well, we just got a text from Megan. You probably know her as Megan. Uh, I think it's just the magical millennial on all her socials. She's just to me, my friend Megan. And she just texted me that she's having drinks at Lamplight. So we are promptly exiting Main Street and heading over there to meet her. She just got engaged and she just had a birthday. So I'm really excited to go meet up with her. I probably won't film while I'm there. It's just gonna be girl time, okay? But, um, Maybe I'll show you if I get a drink or whatever. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh, it's just freaking like a very chill day. I'm getting kind of tired though. Doing I can't do the rope doctor clothes thing anymore, guys. So I'm probably after this drink gonna head out because I know she's gonna leave it pretty soon and uh, take a little nap, recharge, and then come back in the evening. But for now, it's drinks with friends.
girl. This vlog is brought to you by the Grand Legacy at the Park Hotel. Well, that was very fun. Um, I did get a drink after all, as you saw, but I couldn't get an angle for you to actually see me sipping said drink. Um, so now it's time to basically watch Megan over there try a new hot dog. You know, as one does, just watch your friends eat um, various meat products. Let's see that. Cripes. What do? <laughs> Jesus. It's enormous. That's what she said. It's enormous. <laughs> this is the tech hot dog. It's a Moana reference. Over at Award Wieners. And I don't even know where to start. It has. <laughs> it looks like a thumb. It looks like. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I just took a very, very, very long nap. <laughs> I got so tired after trying that Halloween dog and I just had to take a nap. So I went back to the hotel, probably around four-ish, and it is now nine o'clock. I was originally intending to come back around eight, but I was like, you know what? <sighs> she can't pull out these long nights like I used to be able to, y'all. I just can't. Um, but I rallied, strapped my boots back on, and I'm gonna go finish some more content um, that I need to film for some certain videos that I want to have done like already, and then I just maybe roam around. I'm a little disappointed. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do Monsters After Dark this season. The line is just so long, and I don't have a lightning lane, and I'm not waiting a hundred minutes in line. Like I'm just, I refuse. So. <laughs> um, I like it. It's not my favorite version. Like, I much prefer um, the original version of the ride, anyway. But um, Monster Jump Strike is fun. I don't know. Now I'm second guessing it. Only at Halloween is the thing. I don't know, guys. I guess time will tell what I end up deciding. <laughs> okay, y'all. I decided to go for it. The line's now 40 minutes. I figured it'll only go down from here. The park's only open for another half hour. And I'm glad I did because the vibes, the spooky vibes over at California Adventure are immaculate. Come on. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm already outside, so I don't know how true that is. My little pal Brute is lost in the fortress somewhere. And I need to find him before he gets in. I found his tiny little heat signature, see? All those other heat signatures are... Well, don't worry about that. Listen up. <laughs> okay. I'm really glad I did that. Monsters After Dark is very fun. And Guardians is my favorite ride in the whole resort. So... I'm really glad that I did that. I did not regret it. It was exactly 40 minutes until we got into the pre-show room, which is, I think, where they count that time starting. Um, and then usually, as yeah, just one person, I get to like get funneled into a group pretty quickly um, because they always have like one extra. So now we're gonna make my way over to Disneyland to film some more. Not possibly gonna film films here for the vlog any longer, um, but we will get up there depending on what ends up happening, I guess. I'm debating, I'm like, I'm this weird place where I'm kind of hungry, but I have food at my hotel that I really need to eat, actually. I'm like, well, do I save that for tomorrow? Or do I go and try the fish and chips from Galactic Girl from the late night menu for Halloween that's gonna go away? I love fish and chips, and it sounds really good. But it's also like misery. <laughs> so I was like, maybe I'll just eat like some of my leftovers and then maybe get a duck by chocolate. And then call it a call it a day. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what, what ends up playing out. But it is ten thirty, so we have we have an hour and a half. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But for now, it's over to business. Okay, so we just rolled Matterhorn and filmed Indie Dumbo as well. Filmed a little bit, um, and then I ordered the fish and chips and dark white chocolate. I'll probably gonna put the dark white chocolate later in bed. Hopefully I can like keep it nice in my backpack. 
Um, skipping is the bread and cheese part, part ready. Um, definitely check out, I have a link in my bio if you want to save 20% off of your stay at Grand Legacy. I've done so many videos on it. It's literally across the street. It's actually a four minute walk to go to even to the street if the lights hit right. And um, it's actually faster than the hotel. So I highly recommend not sponsored, not any of that, just speaking genuinely in the heart. I, I don't even get a kickback if you use my link to save 20%. It's just because I want to help you out and I want to help my brand legacy out. And there's the best, the best people. Um, also, tired. I can't wait to get this fish and chips. Then get out of Dodge. Normally, my routine would be to take a bath, but I don't have a bath up in my routine this time. Which is fine. Which is fine. Um, but, yes. You really are waiting for the order time to get it ready. I think I might call it a day here. Check out all the videos that are from the TikTok following us for that already. Again, thank you to everybody on the Patreon, which I've already thanked earlier. Consider joining the Patreon and we do movie nights. I have movie nights and we're doing game nights pretty soon. It's going to be really, really fun. Um, so yeah, consider joining the Patreon too. We'll just pull up. Okay, well, I, I, I'm back to tell you how amazing those fish and chips were. Lord, I want them to keep those year round. That just hit the spot. The fries, like the chips, immaculate. The tartar sauce, perfect. The fish, perfectly crispy, flavorful. All the appropriate accoutrement that came with it. It was 13 bucks after Magic Key discount. Shut up. And the, the park is open for a little bit while longer, but I think I'm just gonna head out and I'm wiped. What a successful trip. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. And then go follow me on TikTok or Instagram if you're not already. I'd love to have you over there too. Have a good one, guys. Till next time.